Hi, I'm Dad. Dad. Hi, Riley. Thank you for joining us to, for another Monday vlog. Uh, today we're doing it a little bit different because we had a few requests of showing our barn next to our other um, farm equipment. Unfortunately, there's a few pieces of farm equipment that I haven't finished yet, uh, mainly the chicken coop, and that should be done. It's really, really close to completion, um, so I should have it out, uh, hopefully the video out at the, at the end of this week or the beginning of next. As you can see there, I got we're you know we're gonna show the barn, but we're gonna show all our new Sigfig collection that we got going on. Um, all these great members of Tublug. There's still so many more missing uh, that we don't have. As you can see, I still need the brick, zap, brick zappers uh, outfit plus her new hair. She got a haircut. Um, so I, which I haven't seen on her. I've seen it on her um, minifig, but I actually haven't seen it on her. But this is round one of all our sig fig trades, um, sending out sig figs, doing all that kind of stuff. This is only round one because there's, you know, after I got done with this, you know, I'm thinking about people who haven't I traded with. There's so many other uh, two blog members, so many other Lego YouTubers out there that I want to get their sig figs, uh, try to trade with them. So this is only the beginning of, you know, I'm sure a huge sig fig collection. Uh, the reason why No More Brick is running is because he's just the latest Sig Fig I got, so I wanted to kind of highlight him. Speaking of Sig Figs, uh, I've got a place to order this week. I'm going to place it at uh, Bricks for Chris's store, and I'm going to use the in the line or in the description, I can eat because that will get me a free Bricksmith 78 head, and I already have an extra My Player. Um, guy to put that on so I will have him in our city sooner than later uh, but if you wanted a bricksmith head definitely go over to bricks for Chris's store and uh, put in the comment bar I can eat we actually even though mama was working that night I was able to put uh, the both girls down to sleep and catch a little bit of the live stream on Saturday and I actually caught both live streams hauling and balling of course I caught the tail end of that one I, I, it looks really interesting. I want to go back and actually watch some of the first couple episodes. But then uh, I guess at the end of the month, um, he's going to start doing them. He's doing them right now on other channels. I believe it's um, just Ficken Bricks' channel that he's doing them on. And then he's going to put them over to the Hauling and Balling channel. Uh, so go subscribe to Hauling and Balling if you haven't already. It's awesome, but it's always awesome to catch the live stream. Uh, Brick Smith was the host. He did an excellent job. The only thing is I didn't get to see. I had to go to bed because the baby was going to be up soon for her bottle. And I wanted to get some sleep. So I didn't get to actually see who won the live build challenge. Um, but though we are talking about ideas for this week's um, public build challenge, which is uh, featuring an elf um, in a battle scene. So we're really pumped about that and we want to get that done before Friday. So the only other thing we have to do is um, concentrate on the office building. I don't think I'm going, even though I want to do a round two of Sig Figs, I don't think it's going to be in the next couple months because uh, I really want to put a lot of effort into my office mock. Um, I actually can show you that really quick. All right, here's the work table and um, there's the office mock. So there you go, there's your sneak peek. So I hope you really enjoyed that sneak peek of the office mock. I have it covered just to keep the dust off of it, and I'm not going to show it until um, later on. <laughs> but anyway, uh, as we have here, here is in our city, this is where it's going to rest. Um, the main reason I have to go over to Bricks for Chris's store is to pick up, I'm going to get a new base plate where you see, uh, as a young child, I put super glue all over this base plate. So we want to get looking nice and new, and so we're going to get a new base plate. But here it is. Here is the bar next to the harvest store. Like I said, this is not the permanent location. I really want to put it in a, on a separate table, like a more uh, rural table, I guess, if you will, with a lot less things on it and a lot more green base plates, um, farming, fields, that kind of stuff. But um, in this scene here, we have it, like I said, next to the harvest store, and then I have a little, just some corn with a scarecrow right now. Um, so that's that. I need to pick up, obviously, I need to pick up more white fencing as well, as you can see a few of the cow um, pies there. But I also want to show you this um, barn, or the barn, um, in comparison to the other buildings that I have built. And you can see the empty mug there. And never mind that kid with the fishing pole. And then the jam factory with the still unfinished parking lot. Oh, and let, as I mentioned before, the um, male cow is out hanging out in the field. 
Sorry, I'm not going to show you too much more because I don't really mean to make this a city update. I just kind of wanted to show the barn in comparison to the other buildings. Um, it's still not 100% with the, uh, like it's not a working farm yet. Um, and I realize that and I'm working on it. But this is going to where it's going to sit for at least while we're on this table. Um, that's one more quick thing I have to tell you. Unfortunately, we are going to be having to take apart the city and put it back together because we're going to do, we're going to get carpeting down here. And to do though, do that, I literally have to take apart this table. Uh, so that stinks. The good news is I have carpeting. The bad news is I have to take apart this table. Uh, that will only be for a short period of time uh, before we have to do it again when we move. But, um, you know, that's life, and we're just going to roll with the punches, and I'm going to always be building a mock. There's, you know, that's the one thing. I might have to take a break from my city, but I will not take a break from mock building. They cannot force me to do that. No, I really like to, I really enjoy it, so I just will, will continue to keep going. But that's basically it. Uh, we had to make this one a little bit shorter just due to the fact that um, we're filming this so late and who even knows if I'm going to get this um, uploaded on Monday. This might be like Monday night, Tuesday morning kind of thing. But, um, but that's all we have for you today. So until we complete that chicken coop mock or get another haul, we'll see you later. Say bye, Riley. Bye. Good job.